Sagittarius singles, this is a reading to determine if the person that you are currently getting to know or that's coming towards you is worth your time. So let's get to it. Let's see. Sagittarius singles, please. Sagittarius singles, spirit. All right, Spirit, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is currently getting to know or the person coming towards Sagittarius singles. Tyrant, cruel oppressor, ruler, uses force to control people. This person is definitely power hungry. Perfectionist. A single woman, not the committed type for some of you guys. Um, grass looks greener, but it's artificial. Look what's at the bottom. You can't trust them. Wow. Okay. So what's the issue? Should they come together? What's the issue if they come together? Damn. Joker. It's all just a game to them, insincere, just having fun. They're unpredictable, never know what they'll do, unreliable, a live wire. They're a sneaky snake, going behind your back, deceitful swindler. Mm. Fierce temper, has too many dark, excuse me, has too many anger issues, dark moods, and abusive. I mean, damn. Tangled web, convoluted justifications, caught up, entranced. Alright, Sagittarius and this person, Spirit. Woo! Excuse me. Messages for Sagittarius singles in regards to the person that they're getting to know or the person that is coming towards them. Queen of Wands in reverse. Star. Oh, damn, spirit. Okay. Knight of Swords. One more, please. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Or this is what how they make you feel. They might think that, okay, for some of y'all, they might feel as though you are a dream come true, but at the same time, they might feel like you are insecure and jealous. But this person might also make you feel burnt out, like seriously. Some of the, some of you may feel like when you meet this person or whoever you're dealing with right now, you wish that you could like leave and never return. Like ghost the shit out of this person. But this might be the energy of them coming in, saying all the stuff that they need to hear, like manipulating you to give them what they want and then ghosting you or just leaving you where you are. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Like... Yeah, this person is miserable. A liar. Vindictive. They play too many games. So like I said, you could be dealing with another air, another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aquarius. Gem, Gemini, Libra. Or Taurus. Let's see. Of course, this person might feel like you play too many games and may leave. Excuse me. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep. That connection is not going to last long. you going to stop talking to this person real quick. You're going to see a whole lot uh, that you didn't see in the beginning. You might find out this person is about money, too. They were coming for your money, not for you. Mm -hmm. 
So this fire sign might um might be the person that you're looking for. Somebody wants somebody in the upright, somebody in the um, reverse. But their insecurities is going to cause y'all to not talk to each other. You might see that this person is after money. They might see that you're after their money. Take it how it resonates. But somebody wants a peaceful ending, though. Like, just leave me alone kind of energy. Why is the star card here? Somebody wishes that they could, you know, y'all could have something real, but they got to get their mental right. They're having a hard time moving on from something. And they're never, they're never going to be satisfied as long as they're still holding this grudge. So it may not even be you. It's just some shit that they holding on to that somebody else did. And then they brought it into this relationship or whatever. They don't like being out of control, but they are offering like sex. They're offering friends with benefits kind of situation, but I don't think you want that. Knight of Swords. Yeah. So you might see that you move too fast with this person because they're, first of all, they need to heal. Second of all, they have some type of codependency, obsessions. They got some toxic energy with them. Definitely that's a toxic energy with the double card. Like the ones, three of swords in reverse. Could be a Libra, Aries, Leo, Sage. Could be a Capricorn. Yeah, so now it's like you had to point. You didn't see all of this in the beginning. So it's starting to come to light. And now you're showing, you're not showing interest in this person. Like, seriously. You're seeing things totally different. What you did. Like, what you saw in the beginning, you thought was attractive and thought was sexy, you know. Oh, my God, they're so funny. They're so spontaneous. But now you realize this person is a liar. Like, this person is a liar, and they're mentally disturbed. And that is gross to you. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't have the patience for this. So you might mess around and just and just secretly walk off on them. I'm seeing five of pentacles and the eight of cups. You might just secretly walk off on them because you're like, I do not have the patience for this. And you're giving up on this person because they're doing too much. Yeah, you're giving way too much. You would rather give to something new than a thief. A liar, a cheater, somebody trying to get away with some shit. Yeah. You definitely don't want to be stuck in this and you're not sac you're not willing to sacrifice enough to be with this person. Like, yeah, not gonna happen. Anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for when I upload or go live. Or there is a special going on to the end of the month. Twenty minutes for twenty dollars for a personal read. If you are interested, go to picturemebalance.com. See ya.